What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network and today I want to bring you an article which talks about the whole Legend of Zelda Wii U game and how it's apparently delayed. Now, some of you don't exactly know where I stand with the Legend of Zelda franchise and I'm going to clear that up for you right now. So, I actually am a big fan of the series. Majora's Mask, however, I didn't enjoy it too much to be honest. When I was a little kid, I played through Ocarina of Time and it was one of the best experiences of my childhood such an amazing game, but I mean, afterwards I did play Majora's Mask and I wasn't really too hyped about it. The way I did play Ocarina of Time was a bit different though. I had it on the GameCube when I when it was like part of the Master Collection and it had um, Ocarina of Time and Master Quest on it, so that's how I played that. And Majora's Mask, it was cool and all, but I wasn't a fan of it, so I didn't really play through the whole thing. But there were plenty of other Legend of Zelda games I played through after that. And the main ones, of course, were, you know, Wind Waker and whatnot. And the problem here is that I never had a Wii U, PS3, or 360. P uh, 360 and PS3 not really mattering here, but I didn't have a Wii U when I was younger. So because I didn't have a Wii U, I didn't get to play through uh, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and any other um, titles that came out for that console. So it was kind of like I missed a whole generation of gaming. Which is why sometimes my gaming knowledge seems a bit lacking in certain fields because I basically missed the seventh generation of home consoles. I didn't have any of them because, you know, my mom just didn't have the money back then. But what I did have were the handhelds of that generation, you know, the DS. So, hey, I, my knowledge is limited only to, I guess, the handheld Zelda games. And it's included with uh, Minish Cap and Spirit Tracks. Those are some really great titles for the handheld back in the day. So, I mean, yeah, I do enjoy the Zelda franchise. I just wish I had more of an opportunity to play the games that I missed out on. But now that I am included in the eighth generation of consoles, I'm definitely looking forward to this Wii U one. We have news that it's delayed now. I want to give a shout out to Flaming Spirit who linked me this. Yo, don't know if you have seen this, but Zelda Wii U has some important news. So we're going to go to the GameStop article right now. We need to see the game spot. So Legend of Zelda Wii U delayed, skipping E3. And this is one thing that a lot of us were saying was going to be most likely practical. The fact that they were going to probably show Zelda Wii U at E3. I'm not sure. Okay, open world role-playing game no longer locked in for 2015. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, damn. All right. Now I understand why people are upset because... This is a game that even I was excited about, and I haven't really been playing recent Zelda games. But the fact of the matter is, is that we were expecting some kind of information. We don't even have a goddamn formal title for this thing. We're still calling it Zelda Wii U because they haven't really given us any kind of solid name, which is the case with this game and Fire Emblem, the new one. So the fact is, is that we were really looking forward to E3 to getting some more information about this. I definitely would have been anxious to. The game looks amazing, by the way. It looks almost like a combination of shell, shell shading graphics and um, it's kind of hard to put a finger on it but it looks like advanced cell shading it's amazing it looks like a really nice reboot a really good breath of fresh air to the series and we ain't getting shit out of e3 about it so we're basically going to be left with still that vague ass discussion trailer thing that we saw because i remember the the guys were talking about it in the treehouse and that's all we're pretty much left with um nintendo's upcoming legend of zelda game for wii u has been delayed previously expected to launch by the end of 2015 the game is now due to arrive sometime later Veteran series producer Ijai Anuma announced that the news today in a video update posted to Nintendo social media channels. In addition, Nintendo confirmed on Twitter that it will not bring the game to E3 in June. Oh man, Nintendo recently discovered several new possibilities that could make Zelda a better game on the Wii U. Thus, the company is taking more time to realize those ideas. As I declare the land in the last three months, as the team experienced firsthand the freedom of exploration that hasn't existed in any Zelda game to date, we discovered several new possibilities for the game. Okay, so it sounds understandable. I mean, it seems like they figured they could work with a lot more, you know, flexibility with stuff that they want to do with the game, which is understandable. I mean, so even though it's a really big delay, we're not even getting any showing for it at E3 which sucks a lot. I mean, delaying is one thing, but saying that it's not even going to show up at E3 is just a kick to the nuts. But, um, but I've watched the development process and they rather than work on I feel strongly that we should focus to bring all these new ideas to life in a way that will make Zelda on the Wii U the best game it can possibly be. How do you, how, you know what? I can understand people being upset, but how do you stay mad after reading that? He basically just said, we want to make sure that this game is a fucking masterpiece. And now that we've realized you know, we don't have to think so linear. And Zelda games, to be honest, even though they have a lot of like choices and options and the way you can tackle them, 
for the most part, they are pretty linear. So the fact that we have a Zelda game, which is now just basically open, it's an interesting concept. And I can see how the game design team maybe somehow kind of found themselves thinking linear with the approach to the game still, even though it was an open concept. And I guess somebody must have been like, you know, hey, dude, like, we don't necessarily have to do A, B, and C. We can do Z, W, Y, Q, P, R, S. You know, we can mix it up, you know, we don't have, I mean, hey. Either way, it sounds like they're just going to be making this game even more mouth-watering, so I can't be mad. I must apologize to all of you who were expecting the game by year's end, but we are no longer making a 2015 release our number one priority. Priority is to make an ultimate and complete Zelda game. Understandable, man. Um, it's going to be one of Nintendo's biggest 2015 titles, War Was. The company still has more Wii U games, of course. And you know, here's the thing, this is the year that's looking like the Wii U is really going to like have a big Kind of, because you know, last year was also the year of the Wii U. I mean, the Wii U did so well; it had so many great hits on it. Um, you know, and I'm just saying a few. You know, Smash Brothers, and, um, Mario Kart, and uh, the, Wii, the Wii U's been doing really well, man. So it's looking like this year is also going to be following it up with some big juggernaut titles as well, too. And let's not forget, Smash Brothers isn't even out of the running because Mewtwo being added into the game keeps Smash Brothers for Wii U fresh, along with all these titles as well, too. Splatoon, by the way, the Wii U, man, the Wii U, Splatoon, Star Fox, which is something that I'm kind of interested in. I've never really played a Star Fox game besides the N64 one, but I mean, still, this is amazing. And then Yoshi's Woolly World, I'll admit, you know, I'm not too big of a Mario kind of guy, but the Yoshi's Woolly World, I'm kind of feeling it. Just for the aesthetics of the game, it looks so freaking visually pleasing, man. I, I, I love the look of it. I always go to the Smash Brothers stage with that to play because it's so fucking fun. But I mean, um, Xenoblade, Splatoon, you know what? I'm excited for those two games and it's too bad that Zelda Wii U can't be part of them. But still, I'm not really feeling too bad about it. And they're saying that they're making the game better. So of course, it's understandable that they want us to be patient. And I can understand. I, I definitely can. Especially if they're trying to make this game the most different, the most different Zelda game out there, then by all means, do you. The delay comes just days after Nintendo announced two major developments. First, the company reached a deal with DNA to bring its franchises to smartphones and the NX console thing. I remember um, seeing that news before. I didn't report on it because I hadn't made my return back then. If you want me to report on that too, it's already old, then let me know. But either way, man. All right, so that's basically the story right there. Zelda Wii U is delayed, we aren't going to get anything for E3, which basically means that this game is now in a time capsule, but hey, you know, 2016 Zelda Wii U is coming through, it should be a good year, um, but who knows, maybe the NX will be announced like officially at that time too, like maybe it'll make a showing, but who knows. I'll talk to you guys in the next video, take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.